Hey guys, it's the Faceless Beanie and welcome to my easy focus farming guide where I'll be showing you several simple methods to farm focus efficiently with no boosters required. I'll be showing you some simple builds as well, so let's get right into it. Before the farming, you'll have to complete the second dream quest to unlock focus trees. As focus is based on access affinity, to earn focus you'll need to equip a focus lens on a fully ranked warframe, weapon or amp. There's a basic focus lens for each focus tree that you can obtain from tier 3 and 4 seaters or fortuna bounties and there are 3 tiers of lenses above the basic regular lenses. These lenses are greater lenses, Eidolon lenses and Lua lenses. Equipping Eidolon lenses or Lua lenses is highly recommended for efficient farming. Besides that, if you already have some focus farmed up, the Neramon School's base passive ability Affinity Spike grants you up to 45% more affinity from melee kills. This also applies to shared affinity earned from squad mates. An affinity booster doubles the focus you farm. Convergence orbs are yellow glowing orbs which periodically appear during missions if you've equipped a focus lens. Once picked up, focus gains are multiplied by 8 for 45 seconds. The focus cap per day is 250,000 points plus 5,000 additional points per mastery rank. Moving on to farming. Disclaimer for all the results shown, I've equipped Lua lenses on both my Warframe and a single melee weapon, I've used the Neramon Affinity Spike and I've not used an Affinity Booster. As focus is based on affinity earned, Hydron or Helene are good spots to start out your focus farming. Using a nuke frame like Walt, Sarin or Banshee will net you at least 30,000 focus every 10 waves. Remember to go in with a team of 4 for best results. Next, the easiest focus farm in the game, Sanctuary Onslaught. In Sanctuary Onslaught and Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, every zone from the second begins with a Convergence Orb boost. Zone 2's orb provides the standard 8x multiplier but this scales all the way up to a 16x multiplier in later zones. This 2 forma vault build emphasizes range with moderate ability strength. For efficiency, this requires the energizing dash ability from Xenuric or a trinity or wisp in your team for energy. From the second zone onwards, Waltz uses his fourth ability Discharge which shocks and damages enemies with an electric charge. Keep Discharge active by recasting it frequently and running around every so often to obtain energy orbs. Make sure to find a good spot towards the centre of the tile set you're in. You can easily do this solo but joining a random team will work just fine. Results will vary based on the tile sets you spawn in as some are better than others for farming focus. You don't have to stay for 8 zones, just leave whenever you're comfortable with the focus farmed. Next, it's Adaro on Setna, an exterminate mission which provides the best solo focus farm in the game. Using Equinox with a quick melee with range like the Orthos Prime or the Plague Kripat Zor is the best way to farm focus here. This zero forma Equinox Prime build emphasizes range with the Calm and Frenzy Augment mod which greatly helps with putting multiple enemies to sleep, as well as Vigilante Pursuit to detect enemies on your radar. This is a simple two forma Plague Kripath build which relies on keeping your combo multiplier up to one hit all enemies. This build works on an Orthos Prime as well. Equinox in Night Mode casts Rest, putting enemies to sleep and allowing stealth kills to be performed with your melee. Stealth kills provide a stealth infinity multiplier which gets up to 500% additional affinity with a 30 second timer which resets every time you kill an enemy. This multiplier diminishes instantly once you are detected. Start off by casting Rest on all the enemies in your room and getting the stealth multiplier up to the maximum. Once a convergence orb appears, make sure your stealth multiplier is maxed, then get as many kills within the 45 second time frame for as much focus as possible. On average, per orb, you should be able to get 20,000 focus with some practice. Which means you'll be able to comfortably farm at least 60,000 focus per run with better runs netting over 80,000 focus without a booster in 5 minutes or so. Using Arcane Trickery gives you a chance at becoming invisible after performing a melee stealth finisher kill and this can help make things a little smoother. Finally, Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. This sudden prime build will allow you to solo all 8 zones most of the time with your melee. It emphasizes range for spores to spread further and I've stuck in prime's continuity so Toxic Lash will last longer. 
Hunter Adrenaline and Regenerative Molt are for survivability. Cast spores to inflict corrosive spores on an enemy. Spores only spread if the spores themselves are destroyed. Toxic Lash allows you to instantly burst spores when attacking enemies. Move around to ensure spores are continuously active and spread throughout the room. When your health is taking a hit, cast Molt for Regenerative Molt to activate. Repeat for 8 zones. Of course, it's much more efficient to do this in a team. Focus earned varies greatly based on the tile set, but with two Lua lenses equipped, you're looking at at least 150,000 focus after 8 zones. In this run, I got about 200,000 in 22 minutes. So those are the best ways to hit your daily focus cap efficiently. Of course, you can obtain more focus by doing Eidolon hunts, obtaining Eidolon shards and turning them in for focus. However, Eidolon hunts are a different ball game altogether that require repeated practice and coordinated teams, while the methods suggested in this video can all be done solo or with random teams. And that's about it. Hope this helps you out. This is the Faceless Beanie, signing out.